Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where today we're here in Scarborough to come and check out some of the attractions. So yesterday we went to Flamingo Land. Be sure to check out the vlog if you haven't already seen it. We had such a good day and had so many re-rides. Yeah, lots of on-ride POVs as well in that vlog. And we thought whilst we're up here in North Yorkshire, let's come here to Scarborough, check out some of the attractions. Uh, I've not been for quite a while and Charlotte has never, never been. I've never been before so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's a nice little seaside town. So we thought, you know, we're just living in the Midlands. We don't really get to the seaside that much and when we do a lot of the time it's either Skegness or Blackpool so we thought we'll go into Scarborough and have a little walk around. We're actually just starting off here in the beautiful P-Zone Park. We've parked just around the corner, lots of free parking spots and um, it's a short walk from here and yeah this is really nice to have like a boating lake around here, they have like battleships on here in the summer and yeah all sorts of other shows as well and nearby you've got the North Bay Railway so we're going to be going on that and also there's a historic water shoot that dates back to 1932. Ooh, to getting on it. Yeah it used to be part of a smaller uh, park just up there but we'll go and talk more about it when we go and check it out we're then going to walk around from the north bay area where we are now round towards the main part of the town um, where you've actually got luna park which is a small little amusement park and also a few other shops and attractions to see around there as well so come and join us here on theme park worldwide as we enjoy our day here in scarborough wish the sun was shining oh, though no. <laughs> Really picturesque ground here at P-Zone Park. I like how you've got all the lanterns over the water. And yeah, you've got some massive swans just over here as well. Yeah, they normally have some boats going around on here. I think they're moored up just around the corner. Yeah, beautiful swans just there. Aren't they nice? Lovely. I'm a bit scared of swans, to be honest. What about Bert the Seagull, though? He's over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, so we've parked literally just up this hill here, about a five minute walk. And yeah, the North Bay attractions are located just over the road here. So let's go and have a look. Oh, here we go. Here comes one of the little boats now. And here's a look at the entrance area to the North Bay attractions. See, you've got Britain's biggest miniature railway just there, as you can see on the picture. Along with that, you've got the Sky Trail, the classic water chutes, bumper boats, mini port boats, water walkers, siding snack shack, and a gift shop over here as well. And that's what we're going on first, the classic water chute just over there. That you can see, yeah, you have done one of those before at Wicksteed Park, very yeah, similar ride. Quite classic. Yeah, they're unique. Like you yeah, got the things. Yeah, what 90 years old? Like yeah, crazy. So yeah, we'll go and head round and do that. It's just up here. It's a free to enter area. You don't need to pay to actually go in round here. You just pay per attraction. Very quiet round here, especially for a weekend. I guess the weather's not amazing though. I was hoping for a bit of sunshine today, which would have been nice, wouldn't it's it? It's still so cold, isn't it? It this is. Time of year? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's very nice round here. It would have been even better if there was some sunshine, but still, we'll make the most of it. And yeah, you can see the water chute just over there. Yeah, 1932 it opened and it was refurbished in 2007. And yeah, you simply just come down here, splash into the bottom, and then it actually pulls you back up to the top there as well. So yeah, very simple. And yeah, it actually used to be part of a much bigger kind of complex around here called Kinderland when I was a kid. Oh, it's yeah. It's nice around here. On a really su nice summer's day, it would be even better. Yeah, like with the park over there as well and all exactly. these different attractions. And yeah, the train track just runs around the back just over there and the station the is down here. Yeah, they're just getting the boats out. That's the thing, it's the start of the day. So maybe it'll get a little bit busier. You've got the little sky trail just over there as well. And yeah, just gonna find out where we buy some tickets now. I think it's about three pounds and something to go on the uh, water chute just up there. So we'll go and find out. And here's a look at the prices for the attractions down here. So yeah, for the water chute, it's £3.50, but you do get two rides on there as well. And you can see you've got the other attractions just here as well, just the Sky Trail, 10 95 for 30 minutes, bumper boats on there, and yeah, a few other things. But yeah, we'll buy our tickets for the water chute. Doesn't mention the railway just on here. Yeah, maybe that's just from around the corner. But yeah, let's uh, get some tickets for the water chute, and we'll go and give it two rides. Why not? £3.50. There's a look at the train track just down the bottom, all the lovely daffodils here as well. And yeah, up to the station for the classic water shoot. We've paid for two rides on here. Yeah, I think we're going to be the only ones on it, to be honest, Charlotte. I know. Nice to support a nice local business down here, though. And yeah, really picturesque. You can see the stadium just over there as well with the stage area. He's walking in the water. <laughs> Let's go on. Here's a look at the classic just here. Here we go. Look at the boat. And then you've got the rope just there as well. Fantastic. Yeah, that pulls it back up after we splash down. Here we go, all loaded in the front. Time to ride a piece of history. Right here, way before the lights of the log flew. Here we go. Whee! Oh! <laughs> oh, I got a little bit of a splash then. There you go, classic. You imagine though, back in the day, how thrilling that would have been for people. 
There you go, everyone's watching. <laughs> you alright there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little bit of a, yeah, a, a, a sprinkle just I'm there. Just fast, fast. Yeah, so now the rope's pulling us back up. It tends to go a bit quicker than the one at Wicksteed. I've not been on this for probably, I don't know, I mean, 29, nearly 30. I'd say it's probably been at least 20 years since Aww. I've been on this. Last time I was down here, it was closed, which I was gutted about. Well, on the railway, but didn't get to go on there. So nice how it's back open. We get another splash down in just a second as well. But yeah, that's the thing, supporting these local businesses. And it's nice how this is still going. That's the thing. I think there's only a couple of others of these in the country, you know, so it's always nice to go on these it's, classics. It's nice that they're keeping them fresh so that people can continue to ride them yeah, throughout the, the years. Yeah, it's people's memories as well, isn't it? It's a piece of history, you know, a piece of theme park history. We're straight into it. I thought we were going all the way back to the top. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it is me thinking we're going back to the top. There we, that's we, it. There we didn't make it all the way in. That's it. And then we come back down. There you go. Good fun little ride though, that. I think it's worth it what the charge you for a piece of history. You know, back in the day, this would have been a major thrill water ride. Like, you know, I just really appreciate the older attractions. For me, it's not always about the modern stuff. I love the older nostalgic attractions as well. But yeah, look at this boat just here. I wonder if this is the original boat from when this first operated or if it's been changed over the years. I mean, it certainly looks old. When you, when you look at it, you've got all the water down here at the bottom. There you go. Is that leaking or is it just coming from the side? No, I, I don't know. It. Quite a bit of water down there. That was good fun. Yeah, you do also buy your tickets for the railway. We found out over there as well. So we'll tell you the prices for that in just a second. So yeah, literally we've been pulled up literally by a rope and on like a winch system. There's no like mechanics in the track just here. Crazy. I love it. That's it. That's pulling us back up. Here into the station for this absolute classic here in Scarborough. There we go. So we'll clip us back on now just to make sure that we don't go back down again so it's safe for us to exit. So just our two rides there on the water chutes here on the North Bay in Scarborough. And yeah, here's a look at that mechanism just here as well. So obviously with the rope just here, it'll spin, pull it back up afterwards. And then he just clipped it on there, didn't you, at the end to stop it from, uh, yeah. from moving forward so we could safely exit the boat. Yeah, really interesting looking at all the system for this just here. Well, we just had a couple of rides there on the classic water shoots here on the North Bay in Scarborough. Great to ride that. Like I say, it's been a long time since I've been on that attraction. We're going to be heading on to the North Bay Railway just here. Very shortly. I tell you what, the really nice folks that run this down here. We've just had a nice little tour around, seen some of the other locals as well, which is really nice. Not arranged or anything. We were just chatting. And yeah, really interesting. Very friendly and it's yeah. great to see. Great down here. I've got a couple more facts for you about this train, which I'm going to tell you when we get on it. So we'll head round and we'll go and jump on. Just want to say a big shout out to Chris, the manager down here. Really kind, was giving us loads of information, firstly about the water shoot. Very much enjoyed getting back on he that. He was so friendly and just got so much time for us, which was really nice. Yeah, really nice guy. And the ride itself was brilliant. Like, I thought that's a real nice piece of history and nostalgia that's still going strong got here a in Scarborough. Bit wet as well. Yeah, I think you get wet on that and the one at Wicksteed yeah, Park. I think so. um, this one's better looked after, I think, as well. And he was talking about the looking at maybe painting it up more and that sort of thing, which would be good to see. He also told us a bit about Kinderland, the old park that used to be here and yeah the entrance you can still see like where the pathway used to be to that park when I was a kid used to go Aww. there and it wasn't really so much about rides it was lots of like play equipment and that oh, sort that of thing cool. yeah and then the water shoot used to be part of that uh, and then yeah they've ran it since 2007 I think he told us and then he took us down into the engine shed showed us all the loco locos how they're working on them showed the locals showed us the locos <laughs> um, and then we made our way here onto the train but yeah he told us loads of facts in fact these trains that they run here they've got four as sisters to the ones at Blackpool Pleasure Beach yeah, they do look quite yeah. similar to be honest. Yeah, I've always thought they look similar and there's just a, a few little differences in the fact that um, the gauge is one inch difference here to the Blackpool and um, one of them is 20 inches, one's 21. I can't remember which way so you said around now. small difference. Small difference and the trains are very similar. They're all built around the same sort of time. They've got four locos here and of course the others are at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Yeah, fascinating facts. Um, and of course the first one's opened here in 1931. Uh, they've got two locos from 1932 and one from 1933. But yeah, we'll go for a ride right I'm now. To it. Yeah, prices were pretty reasonable as well, yeah, weren't they? Which is good. Let me just double check. We'll the get the prices out. Was yeah. so a single was three pound ninety, and I think a return was like just under six pounds. Yeah, so not too bad. That takes us here from the P Zone station round to Scalby Mills, I think it's called, which is right near to the Sea Life Centre. And we're leaving the station here on the North Bay Railway, P Zone station. As we make our way round. Past the lake, we'll see the water shoot again. 
And yeah, it's been a good few years since I've been on this actually. There's the low coast. Yeah, very similar. So those from Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the sisters. Really interesting, never knew that. Yeah, we had a nice little tour around. Really friendly guys down here running this. So yeah, come and support all these local businesses. Great, keeping a piece of history going. Yeah, you got a little gift shop down here as well. Sell a few snacks there, that sort of thing. And here's your high ropes course. Just here, there's quite a few different attractions. And yeah, you'll get a closer look at that concert venue just around here as well. You can see the stage over there. They have quite a few different concerts throughout the summer. So yeah, we were chatting with a few of the staff and they were saying how, you know, the concert's kind of coming over the summer. The stage gets set up for a few months during the warmer months of the year. And there's another look at the station area just there for the water shoot. Yeah, it'd be nice if that was all painted up. You used to have all the Kinderland colour scheme and everything on there. So yeah, Kinderland used to be just up there. Literally up that pathway. He's also telling us how they believe it's the original boat. And also a lot of the track here has been replaced since 2007 when the railway actually took ownership of that. Yeah, there's all the seating. I do love a train. It's a good concert venue actually. It is, yeah, it's because it's not massive either, is it? And no. you, you're close to the stage, you know, everybody has a really good view. Into the tunnel. Woo -hoo! the back of the stage just there yeah how many to see maybe a few thousand yeah, only and some sure. standing probably down the front as well we be very close to the axe that you're seeing if you came down here you've also got the Alpamere water park up there as well did a vlog on that a few years ago so yeah Alpamere is really good they used to have an outdoor water park here but they demolished that and built the new one inside it's very good it's actually got an outdoor infinity pool as well which is lovely really nice in there we're not doing the water park this time yeah, I have done it before and it's very good. You've got uh, four slides in there, which are very much enjoyable. Love the sounds of a train. Hey! <laughs> Clunker on the tracks. Yeah, that connection with Scarborough and Blackpool, who'd have thought it? They actually used to have an old chairlift here as well, and you can still see the remains of the chairlift at the top there. The supports are in place, they've been there for many years now. Yeah, they never took them out. I'm surprised they never wanted to take them out, but I guess that costs money, doesn't it? Yeah, I remember going on that just there. Abandoned, spooky chairlift. <laughs> The view's really going to open up now as well to so make our way around towards the sea. It's always really nice when you get to see the sea. See the sea. Because when you live in the Midlands, though, you just don't, we don't get to we see it, do we? Like, you know, know, we live the furthest away you can do, really, from like a beach and stuff, you know, so it's always nice. Uh, some of the old mechanism just here. There's the sea. We've also got something special in our bag just here as well. Have you seen oh. our vlog from Flamingo Land? You'll know it was a little bit disappointed when a certain food venue had left. Well, you'll find out in just a moment. We'll show you what we've got from a certain bakery. I'm not talking about Greg's. So yeah, we're gonna actually be walking all the way around there later on. There's the castle. And we'll be heading round, and then on the other side, you get to the main part of Scarborough. And we are pulling down into the station down here. So yeah, you've got the Sea Life Centre down here as well. As we've got Merlin Annual Passes and it's included and Charlotte's never been in it, we'll go in. I wouldn't say it's one of my favourite Sea Life Centres, this one, but it's very different to the others. So yeah, we will go and check it out whilst we're down here. May as well, got the Merlin Pass. I thought we were pulling into the station, obviously not. A little bit further. Looked like the station, but it's not. <laughs> Nice though on this train, how you come down right by the beach yeah, it's here. Cute, isn't it? Oh, mini golf down there. Looks like it's being restored actually by the looks of the wood around the side. Yeah, and the sea life centre is over in them pyramids. Oh, just over there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's in them pyramids. It is, that's why I thought we may as well check it out. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this definitely looks like it's being restored down here. It's like a, a whale fin coming out down there. Yeah, that's the sea life centre, and then pyramids. They have got penguins at this one though, and I love penguins. 
Yeah, you don't often get to ride these old railways like this, especially right near to the water, so it's quite unique. It is called the North Bay Railway after all. Hey! <laughs> Having a nice jog there. Yeah, it definitely looks like a lot of restorations going on down here. Quite a long way to go, I think, though, looking at that. Yeah, so the Sea Life Centre, you'd expect it to be right in the heart of Scarborough because a lot of these Sea Life Centres are built, you know, right in the heart of the town. But yeah, with this one, it's more off to the side here. Yeah, it's probably about a mile, or about 30 minute walk around to the main part of the town from here. Very but, weird sort of structure. Yeah, yeah, it's very different. I do like the railway though. It brings back a lot of childhood memories coming on this. We make our way round to this station. Yeah, nice little ride, about 10 minutes each way, I'd say. The Scarborough Castle. Just pulling in now to the station. And we're pulling in just here to Scalby Mills, which is the name of this station. So if you wanted to, like say, you can buy a return ticket or you can just buy a single, come this way and then walk back the other way, which is what we're gonna do. Yeah, enjoyed that. And here's a look at the loco we've just been on, Tritons. Yeah, very similar. Those trains at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, all manufactured in Leeds. They're in a really good condition there, these. Very nicely looked after. That's Triton. Yeah, we're about to see Triton, I think, pull forward onto the turntable now and yeah. spin round. Yeah. I've always loved my trains. And yeah, it's very handy if you're doing this one-way trip because the sea life is literally right here. I'm spinning around, I'm riding my train. There you go, change the lyrics. <laughs> There's the turntable in action for you. It's quite fast actually, isn't it? Spinning around just there. Fascinating, yeah. There isn't a turntable like this on the one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach because obviously it's a full circuit around the park. Whereas this one just goes back and forwards along the same area. And yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Do love my trains. Really nicely looked after here as well. At the Scarborough North Bay Railway, we definitely recommend a visit. And especially the water chute as well. well. I'll tell you what, really enjoy going on the railway there. Some great views, I think it's really nice as well. How you start off in the park with all the trees around and the view just opens up down towards the beautiful ocean. Fantastic, you enjoyed it Charlotte? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I think it was really good priced as well. Yeah, definitely. And if you wanted to, like you could pay for the return, come and do the sea life, then jump back on to the other end if yeah, you're you parked down do, there. Yeah. Obviously we're going to be doing a bit more than that because we're going to be walking down here, having a nice stroll round uh, to the other side, the main part of Scarborough itself, and then checking out Luna Park. But here we go, right, we love bakeries, don't we? We love we Greg's, do. that sort of thing. But uh, Coupon's Bakery is absolutely amazing. There you go, as you can see, dates back to 1885. <laughs> what other facts have I got? None, but they do. These beautiful oh, cheese straws. I love cheese straws. Mm -hmm. They're absolutely delicious, aren't they? They're so good. You used to have one of these at Flamingo Land, but they took it out. If you're from down south, you won't have heard of Coupons because they don't exist. They're a northern thing only. Please, Coupons, expand to Staffordshire. Please. Please, we'd love it, wouldn't we? And they've also got some sausage rolls. It's also a lot cheaper than Greg's, isn't it? It is. My nice little sausage rolls. They're cute, aren't they? These are like four for one pound thirty, something like that. Like that's how much you'd pay for one yeah. sausage roll at Greg's. Fantastic. So we'll enjoy this, and then we'll go and check out Scarborough Sea Life. Mm. Well, they were absolutely delicious. Really enjoyed those. Oh, coupons for the win. Fantastic. Anyway, here's a look at all the train times. And down here as well, you can see the full price list as well. Dogs, £1.50. And <laughs> you can see the single and return prices at the bottom there. They also do an annual pass. There you go. £50 per person. And then you get, uh, yeah, the different attractions here. And, uh, yeah, the 10% off different things as well. There you go. You can also drive one of the trains down here. That'd be a cool thing to do, wouldn't yeah, it? Fantastic. Would well, yeah, here's a look uh, over at the Sea Life Centre itself. Come on the train, we can hold on a few more minutes. Yes, we're coming now. So we're going to head down this way now. Not yet. Not yet. Parking down here as well. Yeah, you've also got the Merlin Adventure Golf over here. So there's a couple of Merlin owned attractions. And here's a look at the entrance to Sea Life Scarborough. See, like I say, we have got a Merlin annual pass, so it does cover entry to the attraction. So we go and head in. Peppa Pig, what's Peppa Pig playing for? I don't know. <laughs> Do the meet and greet. Here we are inside. 
Sea Life Scarborough, a new Merlin attraction for Charlotte here. Not very often you get a new Merlin attraction. Well, not me, so I look forward to seeing what they see. That, that is the thing though, when you've got a Merlin on your back, you can just nip into these places and they're open all year as well. Along with seeing the fish, I actually really like just looking at the theming in these sea life centres as well. I used to do a good job and this one's quite different actually compared to a lot of the others. On this big boat just over here. Hello. Stingray. Hey, these are nice aren't they? I like the little smiling faces I do. Really nice. So here we are in Coral Cove. Look at this. What are you doing there? It's good, isn't it? So it's like a magnifier. And you actually move it up and down. Yeah. yeah. It's good because it means it's great for the adults and also the kids as well. I've not seen one of them before. I wonder if I come round this side, are we going to see Charlotte's big eye or not? Oh, I can't even see her. Right? Where's she gone? You just disappeared. There's something so relaxing about just watching fish, isn't there? We've got a cool lighting effect over here as well. Look at this. Five rocks, it's hanging down. They're good, aren't they? Yeah. That's the thing in this sea, like, there's a few different bits actually. How nice is that? It's quite effective. You can make it like my hair if you want. There you go. Looks <laughs> nothing like your hair. Is it not? No. Oh, look at these Love jellyfish. Beautiful. Shimmy. We've got the common octopus just there as well. Oh, it's moving. He's off. Hey. What an octopus. So you actually come outside here now and yeah, you've got the pirate adventure mini golf off to the right. And then down this way, we've got the penguins. Yeah, we're gonna head around this way to the penguin viewing area. Yeah, a lot of sea lives are indoors only. So yeah, this one does actually come outside here as well. It smells very fishy oh, around here, doesn't it? I was it? just about to say it's so fishy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love penguins. There they are. Is he gonna jump in behind? Oh, he's debating it. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Lovely penguins. Oh, I do like how they walk, waddling along. It's like me waddling off to a ride, that is. Like, yeah, next ride, please. <laughs> yeah, and there's a look at the building. All the pyramids just here as well. Oh, flapping. Oh, I like this one, walking over the bridge just here. Hey, hello. Oh. Here they come. <laughs> so cute. Love penguins. Oh, this one's coming in down here now oh, too. Two of them. Me and you, Charlotte. <laughs> oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I like the sign on the wall over there as well. Naughty penguin of the week and good oh, penguin yeah. of the week. <laughs> <laughs> He's off for a walk over the bridge now. <laughs> yeah, the train station where we got off just just at the top there, Scalby Mills. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a little play area outside as well. I'm just looking at the Otter River just over here, but I can't see any otters. However, we've got the Seal Hospital just over here. Obviously, we're right next to the water here as well, and sea life play a big part in conservation and that sort of thing. But imagine seal that's what this is. A baby oh, oh, just down there, probably rescued, I'd imagine. Yeah, I'd say. Maybe so. from the beach and that sort of thing with this oh, sea life being here. Weight, worms and wounds. Yeah, rescued from Scarborough South Bay. Oh, and it says why, well, yeah, so literally oh. brought in here and, and, and looked after and then I'd imagine they'll be released again probably when when the better maybe, I'm not too sure. No, that one's an intensive camp. Oh. Yeah, it's nice how they do these rescue efforts though, with them being right next to the water as well. And we've got another area for the seals just over here as well, probably more rescue seals I'd imagine around here. What's he doing, this one? I don't blame him, just wishing for some sunshine, I think. Hello. Yeah. These are nice. Hello, seals. They like people, don't they, seals? Yeah. Hello. 
No sun today, mate. Sorry. Back inside then now, where it's time to continue our dive here at Sea Life in Scarborough. Um, it's the main ocean tank. Shark. Just here. Oh, like you, Charlotte. Oh, like your fingers there. And there's the tunnel down there as well. Shark. Na, 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 na. So we're now going to find out how big Charlotte is compared to various different sharks. We've got the tiger shark. Oh, look at That's that. that big, yeah, it will be. Mako shark. Great ride, Mako. You reckon? The black tooth reef shark. I think they'd all get you, to be honest, Charlotte. That tiger shark. Four point two meters. There you go. Here we are into the tunnel. Just a small tunnel in this one. Curvy tunnel. You looked amazed there, Charlotte. <laughs> like you'd never been to a sea life centre before there. You're like, I've never seen a fish this close before. In the days. Really nice looking at all the fish in here. We've actually got a little Part of the side where you can put your camera on the side, take your photos and videos as well. It's nice. All the lovely fish here in the ocean tunnel. Welcome to Kingdom of the Seahorse. Very nicely themed around here as well. Oh, if you are sea coming to a sea life centre, no flash photography, you can take pictures and videos, just no flash. No it's a seahorse that looks like that Let's have a closer look at this seahorse down here. Wow. Beautiful. It's a bit like a dinosaur, isn't it? They were kissing then. Oh, wow. A bit like a dinosaur. Yeah, what? but they are, aren't they? They're prehistoric. Comment down below. Do they look like a dinosaur? Not like a seahorse to me, yeah. but... Just climbed up some stairs and we're going into the rainforest adventure here now. We've just come towards the end. Well, that's all here at the sea life. Nice theming in here. Is this looking down on that I big think tank? It is, yeah. yeah. It's like it. You can feel the heat actually coming off this from in here, yeah. Quite a few different animals to see around here. You'd find out there in the rainforest. Can we see anything in there? What what are we actually looking for? A blue, a blue poison dart frog. Can you see a blue frog in there? All I can see is a blue cable tie off to the right. <laughs> I can't see him now. Can't see him. This is literally like a scene from Bugs Life just here. All the ants carrying the leaves. A flick. There you go. That's flick. <laughs> Quite fascinating, aren't they, ants? They don't look like dinosaurs, though. <laughs> Charlotte's actually holding the ants now in this pipe. And yeah, what they're doing is bringing stuff from over there over onto this side. So, yeah, they're actually coming oh, through it's a bit the pipe. Weird, old yeah, can you feel anything or not? Obviously not. No, it's a bit of I don't know. You feel the little feet like no. tapering away. Ants, ants in your pants. Well, we just did our visit there to the Sea Life Centre here in Scarborough. Did you enjoy your visit there? There's a few nice bits in there, but I feel like some bits needed work and it looked a bit tired in places. Looks a bit run down in some areas, especially yeah. the exterior could do with some work around there and quite a bit of chipping paint and that yeah, sort of thing. Yeah, it needs refreshing. Yeah, it was still nice to have a stroll around there. And that's the thing, when you have got the Merlin annual passes, it's you know, you can just make it. the most of it. Like, you know, it's not costing you anything extra to do it, is it? Which is you've really good. Got your pass. Yeah, definitely. But uh, no, I enjoyed going in there. Uh, it's not one of my favourites, but it is a little bit different to the others with the outdoor area there as well isn't yeah, it? Yeah actually you don't normally have that big outdoor section in the other so it was nice to see a little bit of outdoor section. Yeah definitely and if the weather was nice it's like an outdoor play area and stuff there as well for the kids. Anyway we're going to walk around this way now towards the other side of Scarborough and just take in the nice scenery because like I say we don't get to see the sea very often living in Staffordshire. So yeah we're actually going to be walking all the way around here and around to the other side. You can see the castle up there on the hill, but yeah, you can't see the other side of Scarborough from this point. So yeah, we're going to head all the way around. We're going to take about a half hour or so, maybe a little bit longer, to walk all the way around here. But why not? Let's go and take it in. Well, having a nice stroll on the seafront here in Scarborough towards Luna Park. Whoa, an easy friend just over here. I'm not too sure who he is. Look at this. There you go. What a fantastic. 
photo opportunity. A massive guy on a big bench just there. Very Charlotte looked tiny. Look at that. We've been walking for about 20 minutes so far from the Sea Life Centre. Looks tiny from over here, doesn't it? You can just make out the pyramids off to the right there. And yeah, we're parked just up to the left by P-Zone Park where we started the vlog. So yeah, we've only got a walk back to there when we come back down this way later on. Yeah, about another 15 minutes or so, I'd say. We'll carry on around here and we'll reach Luna Park, which is a small little amusement park they've got here in Scarborough. So we've been walking for about 30 minutes in total from when we left the Sea Life Centre and we've arrived around here on the South Bay in Scarborough. Now they got took out by a car van. <laughs> Just double yellow lines though, mate. Um, yeah, let's make our way down here. Here's a little look at Luna Park. I do like this building just here as well. I've got a lot of character to it around here. It's only a small little park, hence why we didn't film its own dedicated vlog for it. Thought we'll kind of tie it all together with the Scarborough Attractions vlog, but it's very nice around here. Lots of like little gift shops. I've actually got a big wheel down here now as well. See that over in the distance. And yeah, you got the cyclone just over here as well. Sizzler. And here's a look at the small little park. It's only tiny, but they fit quite a bit in actually, considering it's a tiny space. You got like three main rides just there and a few other bits for the kids. It's quite funny actually, because this is our third Luna Park of the year. We did Luna Park in Sydney, Luna Park in Melbourne, and now Luna Park here in Scarborough. We started in Australia and now we're in Scarborough. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, it's any small a little stroll about. Here's a look at the prices down here at Luna Park for you wanting to go on any of the rides down here. Yeah, four credits for the King Frog and Cyclone, also exposure, which is the biggest rides down here. Well yeah, the minimum that you can buy is seven pounds worth, which gives you six credits. And yeah, you've got all the other prices just down here as well, the different credits. What's quite unique about the Sizzler just over here, the Cyclone, is the fact it actually lifts up just here. Very unique, normally these stay down on the floor, but yeah, this one actually lifts up off the ground, so there's a look at it. I wish you could just pay per ride here, instead of having to commit to buying loads of credits and stuff like that. Yeah, like it would cost £15, it's certainly not £15 worth of rides, you know. Deals don't add up to the sort of token. Yeah, it's really weird, but here's a look at it just here anyway in action. Well, there you go, it's a little look then at Luna Park. I did tell you it was tiny, but yeah, we thought we'd get it in the vlog here for you. We've actually got a small dodgems over there, little racer armor thing to cars, exposure, which is the Miami at the back, and yeah, very small little park. But yeah, I thought we'd show you it. They're actually in the process of redoing the entrance here by the looks of it. Used to look a lot older and dated. And yeah, it looks like they're in the process of having a new sign on there looking at the wiring that's gone into place. I wish you could just pay to do the one ride though, really. I'd rather just pay to go on the Sizzler. Yeah, but... It would have been good if you could just pay for a ride, but they must have a lot of deals and people wanted to do multiple. That's why they have the cards. Yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? If they had £15 worth of rides, then I would definitely have done that. But yeah, there isn't really, is there, with what they've uh, got on offer. But still, it's a nice little park. Always worth coming down and seeing these different little businesses I and mean, that's the thing we like giving exposure to these smaller parks and businesses as well um, instead of just the big parks all the time you know showing you what there is out and about very nice down here with the harbour there you got the lighthouse ferris wheel just over there what are you laughing at charlotte There's a big donkey in that gift shop over there. a big donkey whereabouts we'll go have a look at it on the other side if you yeah, want a few okay, gift right. shops fish and chips around here ice creams yeah it's nice around here so we've just been in the little gift shop over here and we've actually found some seagull flavoured rock and it's like, famous on TV. What does a seagull taste like? I don't know but it only costs 40p so we're going to try it and we'll let you know. So if you want to get some of this good stuff it's from the Harborside gift shop here in Scarborough. Like, what does a seagull even taste like? We're about to find out. <laughs> you all right? Oh, oh god. god. You okay? What's up? Yeah. Oh that is absolutely wrong. Let me try some of that. Hang on. Oh, oh. oh god. That is disgusting. Oh, that is one of the worst things I've ever tasted. What even is in that? That tastes like rotten fish. If you've, if you've been, get it in the bin. If you've been to Scarborough and had that before, like, if honestly. If you do come, try it just to see what it tastes don't like. Don't try that it. Like, absolutely rotten. Horrible, that. Hey, I'm not in <laughs> gift shop. Oh. Tell you what, Charlotte, do you buy much on eBay or I not? I do buy quite a bit on eBay, to be honest. Well, you should stop buying on eBay. What? Get yourself to Scarborough and go to Sea Bay just over there. There you go, Sea Bay. <laughs> We've actually just been here. I thought I won't film inside the shop. Um, it was but, quite good in there, yeah, actually. There was a sign saying this is how much it is on eBay. And then this is <laughs> how much it is at Sea Bay. Yeah, cheaper. <laughs> it's quite funny. <laughs> 
Lots of different arcades down here as well, including Silver Dollar. Makes me miss Silver Dollar City, that does. Arcade just over there. And here's a look at the seafront here in Scarborough. Yeah, making our way just down towards where the big wheel is there. Yeah, it's quite nice along the frontier, isn't it? Spent many happy hours of my childhood here. It's like the gift shops and stuff are really good. Loads of fish and chip shops, lovely. All your quirky seaside items. Yeah, it just makes a change because we always go Blackpool, we always go Skegness. And they're great, but it's nice to come somewhere a bit different. Somewhere I used to come a lot as a kid. And down here as well, you've also got Terror Tower, which is a small little walkthrough horror attraction just here as well. I have done that before in the past. And yeah, from what I remember, you're not allowed to film inside. I should probably go in, to be honest. But yeah, it's quite good. Like, I think normally somebody runs out and scares you at the end as well. Oh, no. <laughs> You've also got Coney Island down here as well on the front with a very nice building just there. And yeah, it's really nice here in Scarborough on the front. It'd be even better if the sun was shining, but at least it's not raining. I think it's starting to come out. Yeah, it's all right, isn't it? You've got the big wheel down here as well. Now, last time I filmed the vlog down here, which was quite a few years ago now, there was a big fence up down here and I was saying how Flamingo Land were hoping to expand down here with a small little park. It looked like they were either going to relocate Cliffhanger down here, the drop-in shot tower, or have a new one. And also it showed a coaster kind of running around this hillside. And yeah, a big building with some indoor leisure attractions. But yeah, I believe a lot of the locals actually opposed to it. So yeah, it's not going to be getting built now, which is a shame really, because it would have gone really nice down I here, think I it think. it would have fit in really well. Like, people would have really enjoyed it. Yeah, another little attraction down here people to do it's not like it would have stuck out you know with, with all the other attractions they've got here as well like there's loads of arcades like the whole walk through luna park down there the railway the water chutes i think a little fun park like that would have gone down really well here yeah i mean luna park is very small it obviously hasn't got a coaster or anything so it would have been really nice down here um yeah shame really that isn't going to be happening well yeah it's still really nice down here on the front you've got the beach area all across there loads of places to get you know ice creams hot dogs donuts it's really nice. I do like the British seaside. Shame we don't get that amazing weather. <laughs> well, I'm really glad they've done something with this site down here instead of it just being left empty. Got this little mini golf course, pirate themed down here as well, which is good. And the big wheel just over there. So yeah, the horror attraction to walk through, that was six pounds down there. It's five pounds just here for an adult for the golf. Four pounds for a child. Then you've got the big wheel just over here as well. Find out the price of this. £5 per person for the big wheel just there. Six people in one gondola, £25. You've also got a real piece of history here in Scarborough with the tramway that leads up to the town. It's actually a funicular railway. Yeah, 1881, you can see on the front just there. And this dates back to... Yeah, and this actually takes you up to the town centre as well, where there's lots of other shops. So yeah, we're going to get a bit of footage from here now. It's only £1.30 for a single fare. So you actually pay when you get up to the top for this one. On to a little funicula here. And here we are. So yeah, as we make our way up, the other one will come down the other side. Great views looking out as well. Of course, saves that wall into the town. So you got some old pictures of the tramway in here as well. And yeah, this shows you how it works just over here as well, like all the mechanisms for it all. Really fascinating. So it's a nice ride there on the tramway. It's only a short ride, it only takes about a minute to get up to the top. However, here's a look at the walk if you didn't want to get on that. Obviously, yeah, it takes a few minutes to walk up, but it's quite nice going on there. Piece of history here in Scarborough as well. Making the most of it, and you're treated with this amazing view looking out over the South Bay area of Scarborough. North Yorkshire from up here as well. Well, after having a walk around the town centre of Scarborough, we've just walked all the way back down here to where we started the vlog this morning, the beautiful P-Zone Park. Really nice stroll, we've got lots of sea air, and about 13,000 steps in today as well. It's beautiful around here, and there's some really nice bits of theming as well. That's why I just wanted to get these in the vlog in P-Zone Park. Yeah, looking out just there at the Japanese pagoda up on the hillside. Reminds me a little bit of Tivoli Gardens in Copenhagen, Denmark around here. Yeah, it's really pretty. Got the little dragon boats going along instead of the swans there as well. 
And that lovely waterfall cascading down over there in the background. Make a lovely little theme park around here. I mean, it's a really nice place anyway. You know me, I'm always looking at places where you can build theme parks. But yeah, they actually do in the summer, like all navy boats and that sort of thing around here as well. I saw it when I was a kid. You see these big wires just here. They have like airplanes coming down. Uh, they have somebody normally playing the organ inside this down here in the middle as well. So yeah, it's quite nice. Lovely picturesque setting. It's really nicely looked after as well. Well, we've had a really nice day here in Scarborough, visiting various different attractions. Starting off with the classic water shoot, which was good fun, a couple of oh, rides on there. I really enjoyed that, it's just such a classic and it's nice that they're keeping it nice and fresh. Yeah, that's the thing, looking after these heritage attractions, coming down here and seeing it. We then went on the North Bay Railway, which I think is really nice. Like I said, we just did the one-way route, but you can get the return tickets on there as well. If you wanted to, you could walk back that way and then get the train back here. But where we walked, just it kind of worked out better for us just doing the single route, the didn't it? The prices weren't too badly priced either, no, if you wanted to just do the single or if you wanted to do the return. We then went into the Sea Life Centre in Scarborough. Um, nothing amazing, however it was nice to walk through. You've got a million and your pass and coming here for the day. Um, that was really good. And then along with that as well, yeah, walking down, having a look at Luna Park, the little scare attraction down there as well. I think with Luna Park, it would be best if you could just pay for one ride. Like I would have just done like the Sizzler, but um, it would have worked out at like seven pounds just to do the it one ride. It would be ride, a lot so. if you could do it, pay per ride. Yeah, definitely. I think they'd encourage more people in. I'd have definitely been on a couple of rides maybe, or just one them. ride um, if they were doing that instead of the token system that they were running. But uh, overall, it's been a really nice yes. day. It's been a bit different here on Theme Park Worldwide as well. And if you haven't already, check out yesterday's vlog here from Yorkshire, from Flamingoland as well. Uh, coming up next, vlog-wise, on the channel, we're going to be heading out to Germany. Oh, I'm so excited. I've not been to these parks. I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to Hansa Park and also Heide Park. So stay tuned for them vlogs. They're coming up next here on Theme Park Worldwide. But from Scarborough, that leaves with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there, there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you all in Germany.